Brother Arsenal should be uh, in class waiting for you next door uh, uh, as we are prepared to get into our classes right here uh, so that we can all be, be where we need to be. Our family on this morning, uh, we, you know, you know, we recall the fact that we wrapped up the contextual setting of Colossians on, uh, on uh, last Lord's Day. Uh, on this morning, I uh, said that I would, I would lift out of our study of Colossians. I would lift out of there. Uh, hold on just a second, guys. That, that might, that might be me. I think, matter of fact, I think it is. Give me just a second here. Let's see. Let's see. All that's set. All that's set. Okay, I got everything set, but I didn't. I didn't focus on, 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 on this part right here. Let's see. Let me bring you up here. Okay. 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 Okay, brothers. Now, now, now we're good. Now we're good. Yeah. Yeah. You guys can see it there and there. Okay. There and there. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. There we are. All right. So, 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 what we're gonna do? Shelton, uh, check f for me. I saw two two of my two of our, our boys go to the right. Uh, Brother Holland, you got him. Okay, Brother Holland got him. Okay, all right, all right. Just want, wanted to check. Trying, trying to. <laughs> Woof. Okay, okay. So 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 this morning, uh, the ne next for the next three weeks. We're going to be uh, doing a study of a, uh, angelology. Uh, some would call it angelology, but uh, angelology is where is where we are. And um, uh, I'm doing this because one of the uh, doctrinal challenges uh, uh, that the church had uh, when Paul wrote to the church at Colossians, and you're going to see two different times, uh, two different ways he brings this up uh, to deal with it. Uh, because those that were were challenging in bringing false doctrine into the church, one of the primary doctrines that that he was dealing with was the were the worship of angels. Okay, uh, I was the worship of angels, and um, uh, the, we we live in a world today where we have digressed deeper than that. Uh, now we have those who who practice uh, demonology and and the worship of Satan. You know, just just flat out, you know, uh, flat out there. Uh, uh, many of those individuals are Hollywood people, uh, uh, the the over-the-top rich people and so forth. Uh, they just can't find anything, you know, in, in life, nothing else to do. And they, they gravitate uh, to that type of, of craziness, which which uh, they feel like that, they, that they, they know something and understand something that nobody else knows and understands. And so I say that to say, uh, that this was the was the same kind of situation that exist, existed at, at that particular time. Uh, 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 those individuals that many of them that uh, that put forth the study of angels uh, 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 there in Colossae during that particular time uh, were were a religious cult uh, uh, called Gnostics. Uh, uh, the 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 uh, what they practiced was called what was called Gnosticism. OK, uh, 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 Gnostic Gnosticism uh, 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 comes from the word uh, Gnosko, which means knowledge. OK, and what they were what they were professing was that they had a special knowledge. They had a knowledge that regular people didn't have. Uh, they had a knowledge that uh, that 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 the followers of Jesus Christ didn't have. And so that's what they were promoting. And, 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 and there are always people in the world. There are always people in the world that get high off of believing that they have something that, that other people don't have, you know, and, and, and it, 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 it simplifies into the very basic, basic parts of life. You know, uh, people want to live in a community that other, that regular folk would can't live in, you know, you know. Uh, pe people will, will pay half a million dollars or more uh, for for a, a vehicle that what that other people can't buy. It's just the mindset 
of, 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 of when you when you see me, when you see me come by, when you come through the neighborhood or this, that, or the other, and, and we have something, or it, it could be as simple as a dress or a suit or a pair of shoes, something just that simple, humanity, we lock in and we feel good about the fact that I've got something that other people are going to admire me for, that I've got something that other people are going to want but, but what they can have. And so this Gnosticism, was was very similar to that, and and, and angelology. Uh, uh, when when people in that day uh, worship angels and what have you, Paul said that they were worshiping something that they didn't know, that they were ignorant of. You know that they didn't know anything about. Yes, sir. Yes, Shelton. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Thank you, sir. Thank you. I thought you had been a people, boy. And, and, and okay, okay. All right, all right. Let's back up a little bit. All right, hold that. I'll be right back. Come on up, Shelton. Come on up, Shelton. Come on, come on, come on. Thank you, sir. Amen, amen. Well, at least you knew I was ready. You knew I was ready. All right, All right just too, a little too ready. Go ahead, go ahead. Come on. Look, look, we're just shepherd on the sheep. It's yes, sir. There ain't no argument there. We're uh -uh. on the same page, brother. And, and look, and look, and look, sheep, you got to correct the shepherd. <laughs> Oh yeah. <laughs> Let, let's go to our Father in prayer. Heavenly Father, we just thank you for just a wonderful day that you blessed us to see on this time side of life, Father. Just to experience just another slice, just another piece, just another taste of your grace and mercy, Lord, as we begin to go into this particular study, Father, understanding that you are our object of worship, Father, and everything else is beneath and below you, Father. And oh, yeah. we should stay have our focus on you, Lord. And Everything else can be put in order, Lord. We ask that you continue to guard our hearts and minds. Bless and keep us. In Jesus' name we pray and give Jesus. thanks. And amen. Amen. All right. All right. All right, all right, all right guys. With, with that being said, let's let's move into uh what we're here to deal with now. Now, now, now this morning, uh, we're gonna be laying a foundation, uh foundation for you, uh to, to in, in in preparation for what's coming. Uh, be it the will of God on next week, uh, uh, we're gonna we're gonna lay out, uh, uh, go go deeper uh, to help you, uh, uh, you know you know have a better and more clarity about about this particular subject. This is a Bible subject, very much so. You know, it's a Bible subject. You know, uh, you're gonna be reminded of that as we go through this. Uh, 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 you know, you know, you know, for the for the for the next couple of weeks. Uh, then then on that third Lord's Day, the third the third lesson, the closeout lesson, uh, we're going to be, uh, uh, we're going to be, we're going to touch on, we have to touch on some demonology because of the fact uh, that, that demons came, for, they, they were angels, you see? So, so we, we got, we got to deal with that. Satan, Lucifer, you know, you know, uh, 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 you know, you know, so, so we got to deal with that as well. But again, we'll, we'll just, it'll just, it'll just be, it'll just be, it'll, it'll just be one lesson. Okay. Uh, it'll just be one lesson as we, as, as we do that. All right. All right, sweetheart, sister, your, your computer is right here. Whenever, okay, want to let you know. Okay, all right. So, so guys, so so as as we do this, uh, and remember, uh, uh, this is coming out of the closeout uh, of our study in Colossians, and Paul at least two different times specifically dealt with uh, the critical of uh, a false doctrine of the worship of angels. So, so as we look at this again, uh, uh, this study. Uh, that, that, that we'll do in, uh, today, angelology. Uh, uh, ology simply means the study of. So angelology simply means what? The study of angels, all right? So that, that, that's, that's, where, that's where we are. Uh, as, as, as we look at this again, angelology is the study of angels. And, and of course, uh, the reason we're doing this uh, is because of the fact that, that the Gnostics uh, in Paul's day that were, that were endangering the faith of, of God's children in the city of Colossae, uh, they had an unbiblical view of angels. However, that unbiblical view uh, caused them to put together doctrines uh, that had the capability of shipwrecking uh, the faith of, of, of some of God's children. And so Paul, in writing this letter to Colossae and addressing uh, particular situations, again, uh, this was one primary. I uh, do want to look at that he addressed our family at that particular, at that particular time. 
Uh, some believe angels are human beings who had died. That, that's an unbiblical view. Others believe that angels are impersonal sources of power. Unbiblical view. Still others deny the existence of angels altogether. That is also what? An unbiblical view. A biblical understanding of angelology will correct these false beliefs. Angelology tells us what the Bible says about angels. It is a study of how the angels relate to humanity and serve God's purposes. Uh, we need to know and understand uh, uh, this particular this particular study. Okay, uh, we we do, and as we go through this, uh, you're gonna you're gonna see and and recognize that. Uh, 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 as we go from study to study over the next couple of weeks. So, so now, uh, 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 the question, um, how many of you in the audience this morning, uh, based on the, the, uh, the usage of angels in the Bible, have ever particularized and just said, I want to I wanna study and understand uh, what, what, the, what the Bible is saying about what? About angels. Anybody ever taken a, a few extra time to do that? Okay. All right, if not, this will be good for you. Uh, uh, and as you matriculate with brothers and sisters this morning, uh, when you go next door for some fellowship and, uh, uh, and refreshments, you know, and come back over here while you're fellowshipping around, let them know uh, that, hey, if you want a, a greater and better understanding of angels from the, from the biblical perspective, which is the only way we, we can do it, uh, then you need to be here at Bible class. Get up on Sunday morning and, and come on and get some of this, okay? All right? All right. Uh, so, so, so another question that people have and wonder about is why are some angels evil? Why are some angels evil? Can anybody answer that question? Why are some angels evil? Some angels are. Some angels are not. Uh, the question is why are some of them evil? If you don't know the answer to the question, then you need to stay with us. Then, right? All right. We need to, we need to open the book and get there. You know. A uh, question: Are angels male or female? Are angels male or female? We, 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 we live, I'm sorry, was, was it right? Oh, okay. I, you know, that, that's a question. That's a question. Very important question. Okay? And, and, and uh, I, 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 I will not uh, deal with that right now. I'm going to leave it out there. Uh, and, and the reason being is that, is that when, you, when you see angels commercially, when you see angels uh, from Hollywood, uh, when, 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 when you see those, uh, uh, many individuals, you know, you will see, you'll see male and female what? Angel. Okay. All right. Many people, many people, if you're listening, many people, you know, you know, particular, uh, women in all of these, uh, in all of these, uh, 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 uh different, uh, uh, social structures and so forth will, will, will refer to God as she, you know, you never heard that? Keep listening. Okay? All right? I mean, I mean that, that's, the, that's the world that we live in, you see? In the world that we live in, our people, even when it comes to God, when it comes to the Bible, when it comes to things uh, from the standpoint of theology, uh, they will still fix it the way they want it to be. Still. Okay? And, and, and that, that, that misinformation can what? Uh, can, can, can falter an individual's faith. Okay? That's why you, you can't just go out there and surf the internet and decide what you're reading is true and factual and biblical. You can't do that. Okay? You have to know the Bible what? For yourself. You see, that, that's, why, that's why this is so important. In the Apostle Paul's day, it was, just, it was just they have to be right around the circle. You know, they have to be right there with you and where you are. Now that doesn't have to happen. You can be anywhere in the world, and you've got false doctrine flowing into your house, flowing into your phone, you know, your kid's computer, or whatever the case might be. That, that's dangerous stuff. So if there was ever time that the lost church had need to stay in the Bible and teach their children the same thing, it was, it's right now and forevermore. It's one of those things, okay? Are angels visible? The beings are invisible. Okay, okay, all right. That that's a, that's a question. I've got two different answers. That's fine. And, and we got that we we're, we're, we're gonna deal with that, okay? Do we have guardian and angels? Hmm. Have you ever heard the word guardian and angel? Don't you don't you think it's important to know what the facts are? 
You know, you know, you know, you ever just taken somebody's word for something or heard something and you believed that that's true only to find out that it wasn't? You know, and some, sometimes you can get yourself in a whole lot of trouble thinking something is true or what, and it was not, okay? So, so do we have guardian angels? That's a question that we want to address, okay? Are, are angels able to die? Haven't you seen, any, well, you, you must, well, well you, you, you haven't seen, you haven't seen uh, our angels killed on television? In a movie? Something like that? I mean, that, 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 that's, a, that's a good question. You know, you know our, our angels, like ourselves, you know, able to die. Okay? Who or what is the angel of the Lord? When you're studying the Bible uh, uh, and, you, and, you, and you see the phraseology, you know, angel of the Lord. All right? Uh, uh, when, when you see that phraseology, do you understand who, he, who he's talking about? You know, is there a particular angel or is this just a general angel that God says, go and do this? You know, you know, we're going to we want we we want you to understand and, 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 and have that uh, before before we leave that study. Most of these you're going to know we're going to know you're going to know next week. Some of you might know this morning. OK. All right. Another question. Do angels visit the earth? You know, do angels visit the earth? Okay, I've got a couple of yeses there. Uh, uh, well, well we, we know from the Bible that what? They have. You know, you know, you know. Uh, we, 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 we know what the Bible says about, about, about the past. You see, this question is also what? Not just about the past. This is also about what? It's about the present. It's about the present, all right? So, so we need to have some understanding there. Okay, all right? Uh, 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 what are the cherubim? Are cherubs angels? Uh, are, you, do you, are, you, are you aware of that terminology, the cherub? Okay, all right. Were, ch were cherubs, cherubs angels? Are angels created above humanity? Are angels created above humanity? Are angels below humanity? You know, that, that's a very important question. Okay, all right. Uh, at the second coming of the Lord Jesus Christ, and, and after our what? Resurrection and after us meeting him in the air, the apostle Paul says that there's, there's coming a time when the script's going to be flipped. Okay? But we'll, 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 we'll look at that. We'll, we'll, we'll get into that. So, so with that being said, with those questions kind of, kind of jumping around out there, I hope and pray that we realize and understand uh, that this is an important study. And what we need to be a part of the study and we need to share with family members uh, that, that, that don't struggle with getting up, going to work, and yet struggle getting up, coming to Bible class, uh, that is, that is quite worthy, what? To be here. Okay? All right? To be here. Okay, so, so let, let's get into the specifics so that we can have something, uh, to take away with us this morning. Angelology holds a significant place in theo in theological, uh, exploration. And theological exploration. Theology, again, ology, study of. Theology is the study of God and those things, what? That are, that's what? That's pertaining to God, okay? So, so, so when you're in studying theology, part of theology, angelology, has to be a part of that because of the broadness of the relationship between what? God, Theo, God, what? And angels, all right? So, 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 so in looking at this, understanding God's creation, angelology broadens our understanding of God's creation uh, because it tells us that God created more than folk. That's what that said. It helps us to understand that God, uh, you know, you know, you know, you know, humanity. You know, we 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 like to believe uh, that there's nothing more important than us, and sometimes we believe that we're more important than the second uh, person of the Godhead. Sometimes we, when when you listen to some uh, some religious groups, it's like it's like. You, the, 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 the way they position themselves, the way, the way they talk, and, the, and, and the, 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 way, the way they talk to God, it's almost like God is there to serve us. Listen carefully. That's some of the, like God is there to serve us. God is not there to serve us. He created us. We are the created. You see? And there are people, there are people that's, that, 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 whose egos are so large. You know, and until that, that they feel like that, that, that God is at our beck and call to do things that we want him to do the way we want him to do it, when, it, when we want it done. 
You know, and that, that, that's sad. But angelology will, will, will cause us to have to take a step back and understand uh, that, that, that we are not at the apex of creation. Okay? Angelology acknowledges that man is not the highest form of what? Of created being. You see? Neither do we know how many other forms of created being that God, that what? That God created. You know? We have to stop thinking we're all this and all that. Let's just, let's just lock in where we are and get the what? Get the most out of it. You see? And that, 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 that's God's will, by the way, okay? Uh, just as there are various grades of life between man and lower forms. Okay, what does that mean? We are, we are man. Okay? All right? All right? And there are a lot of what? Other life forms. That's what? Below us. Okay, who can think of one? God wrote You see, you see, you see, you see, this brother right here. Now, we, we, we are here, okay? Uh, when, when, when Shelton Mind clicked, he went, he went, he went, he went straight to the bottom. <laughs> now, we got, we got all these life forms between us and the cockroach. Shelton, he just said, let me just go ahead and take it away. Let's put the axe in the root of the tree. But, 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 but no, but that, that's what we're talking about. Uh, you know, uh, all life forms, the animal kingdom, and all, all these other animals and, 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 and what have you, you know? And then when, when you get below the cockroach, yeah, that, that's some there. That's some there. Uh, uh, but, 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 in look, that, but that's what we're saying. Just as there are various grades of life between man and the lower forms, uh, there also exist creatures with higher intelligence. Higher intelligence. Okay? And that, that's something that, that's hard for some men to believe. Okay? With greater intelligence and greater power than what? Than human beings. Okay? And one of those happened to be what? The angels. Okay? Happened to be the angels. Okay? So the existence of lesser deities in mythologies across cultures implies the presence of beings uh, between God and man. What, what, what are we saying? When we, when, we, when we look at Grecian mythology and other, and other forms of mythology, when people uh, talk about Zeus, Pegasus, and uh, the, the, these gods and, and, and all that relates to that, what they, what they have in their mind, what they, have, what they have opened their imaginations to do is that they are beings that are what? Greater what? Than humanity. You know, that are greater than what? Greater than human beings. Okay? Zeus is a fictional character. That they said what? Said where? In the heavens. That's why we call it what? Mythology. These are myths. This comes from what? Human imagination. Okay? All right? Uh, but, 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 but what we're saying is that there's something in us that says there are, there ha that there are beings. Beings. What? That are what? That are greater than we are, that have been created, you know? And so, and so it, it's, it's important then for us to understand uh, what, what, what the Bible has to say. Uh, uh, when, we, when we look at the scriptures, the Bible includes references to angels in at least 34 books. In at least 34 books in the Bible. What okay. else? Absolutely, there's a uh, uh, there, there 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 is there is a realm. There is a realm outside of the realm in which we live. You know, there is a realm there. Okay, and 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 um uh, uh that 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 could be angels sitting with us this morning, and we wouldn't know. You know. You know, I, I know, I know, I know that the Lord is here. Wherever what? Two or three. We got more than two or three. So, so we, we, we know, we know he, he is here. Can you see it? Can you feel it? Can you hear it? No. Can you talk to him? Yeah. So you talk to the unseen. Amen. 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 Why? Because you have what? Faith. 
Okay, because you have faith. So, so, so 34 books in the Bible, you know, from Job and Genesis all the way to Revelation. That, 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 the, the, the Bible covers the what? The reality of what? Of angels. Okay? The reality of angels. While details about angels are often omitted, the Bible mentioned them 196 times. 196 times. 103 times in the Old Testament, 93 times in the New Testament. Angelology is a worthy study of what? Of God's word. Okay? He wants us to understand. And, and there's so many lessons that we can learn from uh, those 196 times that God uh, talks about angels in the scripture. And you see, when we go to the Bible and learn, uh, we've got facts. When we learn from the Bible, we don't have to worry about what? Misinformation. You see? When we learn from the Bible and we get the real, whenever fake come along, guess what? We can recognize it. We can recognize it. When we're watching television and that stuff from what human imagination is on there to grab our attention, to pull us closer, if you don't know the truth, what? That messes your mind up. You know, people walk around talking like that stuff that's on TV was biblical. You know, and we'll argue you down. If you don't know for yourself, you might walk away hollering, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You know, you know, you know, that's dangerous stuff. So when we, when we look at the plan of, 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 of God as it relates to angels, studying an, an, uh, angelology helps us appreciate God's power and love. Angels play a vital role in God's plan and understanding their function Deepens our understanding of what? Of the divine workings, how, how God is working with us, for us, uh, because of us. And all of this is a part of that study, okay? It also helps us to understand our place as humanity uh, uh, in God's plan and God's design uh, for the reason for creation uh, in what? In the first place, okay? In the first place. You know, we don't know, we don't know how long. Uh, we don't know how long, we don't know how many uh, hundreds of years, a thousand of years or eons that God created angels before he created what? Humanity. Okay? All right? We got some things that we're going to look at, though. Uh, uh, when we look at this, a simple definition, angels are spiritual beings created by God to serve him, being created higher than man. Angels are spiritual Spirit be. Okay? The, 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 the faithful angels, the angels that did not raise up themselves against the throne of God following Lucifer, following Satan. Uh, these are the angels that we're talking about right now. Those angels that have been faithful to the God, their creator. They are, they are, they are not simply uh, spiritual. They are spiritual in reference to the fact that they still give allegiance and reference to God. They are spirit because what? That was the design of God, what? In creating them. God is spirit. The Lord Jesus, the Lord Jesus was what? Also what? Spirit. Before he became what? The God man. And the son of man, you know, and putting on flesh. When the Hebrew writer talks about this, that is why the Hebrew writer says that Jesus was created a little what? Lower. Lower than the angels. He says this, why? Because of the incarnation. You know, Jesus is not a created being. You see, but the, but, but, but the incarnation, okay, when he pulled off his glory, came down and became a man. I, and and, and that, that, that always rings to me in that prayer in John 17 when he says, he says, Father, he says, I grant me the glory that I had well, when I was with you, when I was in heaven, okay? When Jesus went back home, he was clothed with what? The same glory that he had uh, before he came. You see, right now, uh, uh, the angels, 
Just like every other thing created is what? Is what? Under him. Okay, it's under him, you know? You know, so so keep 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 that keep that in mind that God uh, that, 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 that God created the angel. The Hebrew word for angel is makok, and the Greek word uh, uh, the Greek word for angel is angelos. Angelos. Angelos means messenger. It means one sent. So 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 angelos can refer uh, to angel. It can refer to any messenger. That God sent. In Revelation, it refers to the to the preacher, the angelos. He said, he said, he said, he, 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 he said that, that these letters are given to the angel of the church. You know? That's not a heavenly angel. Okay? That, that again, again, and when you understand that angel, that, that, that term angelos, it means messenger. So, so many times when you're studying the Bible, you have to know what God is talking about from the context. Okay? We have to know what that word means from the context. Okay? And that, 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 that helps us to, what, to stay where God would have us to be. So it's the same way uh, when you see that term, that, that, that term angel, you, you, got, you got to ask yourself, you know, is, God, is, is this talking about a messenger that was sent? That could be a human messenger, you know? Is this angel, this messenger that's sent, you know? Is it, is it, is it what? A, that spirit messenger, you know, that was sent? What, what is it talking about? So it comes from the context. The context must determine if a human messenger is in view or one of the celestial beings called, uh, that, we, that, we, that we're looking at today, angels, or if it is used of the second person of the Godhead, of the Trinity. You see? When we talk, when, when, when that, uh, uh, the, the angel, the angel of the Lord is what? Specific. Okay? And in, in the Old Testament, when you see the angel of the Lord, uh, the, 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 there's a term that's used. It's called theophany. Okay? Uh, 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 theophany. Theophany. The, 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 uh, theophany means that that, 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 that that the Lord of glory, you know, presents himself, what? As a man. As a man. In Genesis 18. Genesis 18. Those were what? Angels. One of them was what? The angel of the Lord, though. <laughs> okay? Well, one of them, uh, well, uh, out of the three, one of them was who? The angel of the Lord. Okay? What, 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 that was, that was the Lord that what? Took on the form of a man that visited, had lunch with Abraham, visited Abraham. You know? You know? He sent the other two, what? As messengers to Simon and Gomorrah. And what did he do? He had what? Conversation with who? With Abraham. You know? You know? With Abraham. So, so, so in looking at that, a family, uh, uh, th this is this is indeed uh, 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 an, an important study. Angels are indeed uh, created beings. They have not always what they have not always been. Okay, angels are created beings. In Psalm one forty eight, the psalmist says, "Praise the Lord, praise the Lord from the heavens, praise Him in the heights, praise Him all His angels." Praise him, all his hosts. Still talking about angels. Hosts just talking about what? The myriad what? The myriad in number. Okay? The myriad in number. Okay? Uh, 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 praise him, verse 3. Praise him, sun and moon. Praise him, all you stars of light. Uh, verse 4. Praise him, you heavens of heavens, and you, and you waters above the heavens. Let them praise the name of the Lord, for he commanded, and they were what? They were created. So every, everything that was created... That just talked about in the verse, and including what? The angels, they we understand that what? They are creations of what? Of the Almighty God. You know, they are creations of the Almighty God. And keep in mind that, that in creation, and we're gonna look, look, look at that verse, Jesus is what? Is the agent of creation. God, God, God commanded it and what? And the second person of the God did what? He carried it out. He carried it out. He carried it out, okay? Uh, as, as we look at this, look at what Job said in Job 38. Uh, Job, Job, Job says, where were uh, God, God speaking to Job? God listened to Job very patiently for a long time. 
And then, and then, and then it got to a point when God said, let me step in and straighten this, straighten this brother out. Uh, let, let me help him to understand some things. So, so part of that, part of that, that, that um, uh, dialogue is in John, is in Job 38. Uh, where, 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 where the scripture says here, starting in verse one, he says, where were you when I laid the foundation of the earth, Job? He said, tell me if you have understanding with your bad self. Oh, you, 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 you act like you understand everything. Okay. Verse five, verse five, verse, verse five here. Uh, uh, who determined this measurement, Job? Surely you know. I mean, you gotta know all the stuff you know. Uh, uh, who stretched what? The line up on it. To what were the foundations fastened? Or uh, uh, who laid the cornerstone? My, my, my. When the, when the morning stars sang together and all the sons of God shouted for joy, who are the sons of God? The angels. The angels, the sons of God in this particular case. So their creation then was prior to the creation of the earth. Before God said, let, uh, 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 let there be light. Before God, uh, cre- uh, before the days of creation of Genesis chapter one, the angels had already, was already in existence. And like I said, we don't know how long the angels had been what? Already in existence. Jesus, as I, was, as I just said, is the agent of their creation. Okay, uh, uh, Jesus is the agent, what? For our creation. God called it. God commanded it, you see? God commanded it, you see? But the Lord Jesus, what? Carried it out. John chapter 1, the Bible says, in the beginning was the Word. And the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was in the beginning with God. Watch verse 3. All things. Anything left out? Ain't nothing left out. Nothing of that. All things were made, how? Through him. And watch this now. In, in case somebody misunderstand this, he says, and without, without who? Without him, or what? Nothing was made, what? That was made. Drop the mic. Uh, you can't go any further than that. Anything, anything, that's a thing. You see? What's created by who? By the Son of God. Second verse of God. You see? He he has a right to tell a man what he must do to be saved. And we want, uh, humanity won't acknowledge it. He has a right, you know. In Matthew 28, when Jesus stood there and said, all power is given unto me as the God man, you see. He had it from the beginning as the Logos, okay. Look at, look at, in in, in Colossians 2, 28. This is one passage that said that is part of the reason that, that we lifted this out, okay? Well, watch, what, watch what Paul says. Paul says to the Christians, he said, let no one cheat you of your reward. Don't let anyone cheat you of your reward, taking delight in what? False humility and what? Worship of angels. This was such a concern for Paul because Paul knew that if these people got tied up in worshiping angels, you see, then they just set themselves against the angel of the Lord, the Lord Jesus. Nowhere in the Bible does the Bible say that humanity worships an angel. We're going to see several times, several times when, when, when men bow down to do so. And the angels what stop them. So, oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Wait a minute, you got to get up. Angels are what? What servants and workers what? Just like you. Okay? So, so, so Paul says, so, so Paul says, if you turn your attention to worshiping angels and you turn your back on the Lord Jesus, you are in what? Jeopardy of losing uh, what you've gained by the blood of Jesus. You see, that's dangerous business. This, this stuff, this ain't for play. It's not for play. This is real. Our souls are on the line. Let no one cheat you of your reward, taking delight in false humility, false humility and worship of angels. And watch this now, intruding into those things which he has not seen. 
All this stuff you're reading about, uh, 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 about all the spirit world and so forth. Uh, that they're, they're, they're writing from the imagination of their mind. Intruding in those things which he has not seen. Watch this now. Vainly puffed up by his flesh and mind. Ego. Ego. I know stuff that you don't know. There's a prophet guy. Right, right, right around the corner from Sam, at that church over there this weekend, and 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 and, and, and he he says in his advertisement, he says, "Come on out, and I'm going to show you that I know and understand a stuff that nobody else in the world." I say, "What?" <laughs> he said, "He he said he said everybody else in the world wrong." They missed it, but what? I got it. You ought to come on out here. And for know what folks going to do? They're going to flock out there. They're going to fill up the place. Because what? Everybody want to know stuff that nobody else knows. You see? But if, if, you, if, you, if, if, if you're learning about a lie, that which is false, if you're excited about misinformation, how can people in this world be so excited about misinformation when all the good stuff, the right stuff, you see, is what? It's found in the scripture. And it's so hard to get a child of God to get into the Bible. Man, that's the place. That's the place. Look, look, I'm closing. Look what he said. He said, intruding into those things which he has not seen, vainly puffed up in his flesh and mind, and not holding fast, to the head, from whom all the body, nourished and knit together by joints and ligaments, grows with the increase that is from God. God will enable you to grow. God will open up your understanding so that you can read the Bible and know not only what it says, but know what it means. You see, God, God does that. You know, Jesus says, if you're hungry and thirst after it, what? I'll provide it. And family, that's exactly what he does. I'm, we're going to shut down here. But, 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 but be, come on back in on next Lord's Day. We're going we're gonna, to we're gonna, we're gonna deal in details. We're going to talk about some of the angels. We're going to look at uh, uh, some of the artists, uh, which is the best we can do. Some of the artists, um, uh, drawings or what have you, uh, uh, here and there. Uh, but be here, family, be on time. We want to cover this, okay? We really want to cover this. And so we need to start right at 9 o'clock, okay? Right at 9 o'clock, all right? Uh, 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 and and uh, uh, once I set this up, Shelton, if I say anything else, you raise your hand. But I'm gonna, I think I get it after this morning, all right? Okay, all right, all right, I'll get it, I'll get it locked in. So, so guys, go, move on next door, share some fellowship uh, and what have you, and we'll come back over here and, uh, and praise the good Lord. Uh, in the midst of our worship. Would you bow with us, please? Righteous Lord, we come before you this morning. We honor you and we thank you, our Father, for blessing us indeed the way you do. Our Father, we honor you for blessing our sisters so mightily, Father, on yesterday. I thank you, Father, for being with all of the sisters that came in from various uh, congregations, Father, and, and, and from around uh, the country, Father, to be with them, dear Father, and to soak with them, to share fellowship with them, Father. We thank you uh, for our brethren, dear Father, that labor diligently, Father, a labor of love uh, to allow our sisters, Father, to just share their day, dear Lord, without any, uh, any other labor, uh, Father, but just sharing uh, with one another, Father, and sharing indeed in that awesome fellowship with you, Father, with your spirit, our dear Father, in the midst of them. Our precious Lord, we thank you for the beauty of this day, uh, for bringing us together this morning. Uh, we pray for all of those family members that are, will be headed this way, our uh, Father, for our morning worship. Uh, we pray, Heavenly Father, that all that we say and that we do, dear Father, will indeed uh, be a blessing as we lift up your holy name. Our uh, Father, for the ladies that came in, Father, to uh, speak to our sisters yesterday, Father, and to share uh, the beautiful poetry, Father, that was shared on yesterday. We're thankful uh, that you bless them to come and be in our midst. Uh, we pray, Heavenly Father, that their coming uh, uh, would have also been a blessing 
dear Father, for them as well. And as they go back home, Father, to be a blessing to the congregation of families, we pray, dear Lord, that they will let them know, uh, dear Father, that God is active, dear Father, and God is blessing a healthy congregation, uh, Father, here uh, in the little city of Monroe, Louisiana. I uh, just view this now, Father, lift, bless, and keep as I pray in the mighty, awesome, and blessed name of Christ Jesus, our Lord, we pray. And amen. All right, guys, thank you much. Thank you much. Well, God's will see you shortly.